Hi, this is Dr. Dave again. In this particular video, we're going to go ahead and complete our technology assignment where we have created a revenue function that's a parabola and a cost function which is linear. In the next part of this, we need to be able to save this graph and to put it into a discussion board. So let me show you how that's going to work. So the easiest way to do this is to actually have an account inside of Desmos. You don't have to have one, but it makes things a lot easier because it allows me to go back and, and retrieve a graph that I've already made. In this case right now, I see that my graph is untitled graph. In order for me to put a name on that graph, I need to have an account at Desmos. So the way to do that is up on the right here, go to create account. Um, usually if you have a Google account you can use that but it's probably easier to use an email account. So go ahead and enter your scholar email, your name and password, click the agreement here and then go ahead and do create account. They will send you an email and verify your password and once you've done that then you'll be able to come up to where it says sign in and you'll be able to sign in to Desmos. So let me go ahead and do that with my account. So my email is david.grazer at yc.edu and now I'll put in my password and click on the sign in button. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and save this. So if I click on save, it's gone ahead and saved it. But the thing is, is now when I click here, it's going to say, call it Untitled Graph. I'd like to put a title on it. So what I'm going to do is click on where it says Untitled Graph. And I'm going to give it a name. So maybe Tech Assignment 1 and tell it to save it. So now if I ever need to get back to this graph, I can click over here on these little hamburgers and you can see there's a place where I can recall saved graphs. And you see a lot of other ones that I've done here before. All right, but let's come back over here and look at how we can save this. There are two different ways to do this. All right, we can save this to a file and then upload that file into Canvas. Or we can copy an embed code and then upload that embed code into Canvas. Let's look at the first way of doing this, which is to go ahead and to save the file. So I'm going to go up to this little button right here next to where I logged in. It says Share Graph. Click on that and select Export Image. It's going to allow me to change the size on this so I can have different sizes. I'm going to stick with medium. I can change the line thicknesses here to make it a little bit easier to read, I'm going to go with medium. And once I've done that, I'm going to download PNG. That goes ahead and downloads that particular file to my download folder. And now what I'm going to need to do is know where that download folder is. So when I go into the discussion board at our class, I know I can upload that PNG file. And remember, here it's called desmos-graph1. So the next thing I want to do is upload this to the discussion board in Canvas. So here I am in a course with a discussion board. And if you're the very first one from your team to post your graph, you're going to have to go ahead and click on Add Discussion. We'll give this a title. We're going to give it the title of this particular assignment. So Revenue and Cost in Desmos, a dash, and then we're going to put your team number in here. So team, whatever your team number is. I'm going to put zero for this one. Down here below is where I'm going to put my graph. So I'm going to start out and say C of X equals 11X plus 1,000 because that was the line that I did. I could also type in the revenue function here. However, all of you are using the same revenue function. What's different is the cost function you're doing. I'm going to hit enter and now I'm going to go ahead and upload that file. So I'm going to go to this button that says embed image. I'm going to click on the canvas tab. 
So go ahead and click on My Files, Upload File, and now we need to tell it where to find it, and it's in our Downloads folder. It may be somewhere else on your computer. There it is, Desmos-Graph1, and now I'm going to open that. It goes ahead and uploads that, and now I'm going to scroll down and tell it to update. So there is the graph that we created before. It's a monstrous size graph, but I can click on it and make it a little bit smaller. So this allows me to go ahead and upload a graph from Desmos by saving it to your hard drive. Now, there's a second way I can do this. And so I'm going to go ahead and tell this to save it. All right, once you're ready for everyone to see it, you'd want to say save and publish. But as a reply to this, I'm going to show you the other way to go ahead and put a graph into here, and that's using an embed code. So let's go back to our tech assignment. We're going to close that uh, export window that we had before. We're going to go back up into share graph, and we're going to go to where it says embed. I'm going to right click and tell it to copy that code. And now I'm going to go back to my discussion board and I'm going to go ahead and get that code into here. But to do it, I have to be in the HTML editor. First, I'm going to go ahead and type in my C of X equals 11X plus 1000. And now I'm going to go HTML editor and I'm going to go ahead and right click and say paste as plain text. If I go back to the rich content editor, what you're going to see is there's the graph right there. All right, so what this does is puts code into your discussion and what it does is calls that uh, graph up from Desmos. When I'm done, I post reply and there I have my graph. Looks a little bit different than the one up here, but it still shows all the key pieces that we need. So what you need to be able to do is to either do save it to your hard drive and upload it, or paste the embed code in. I don't care which one you do, you just need to pick one of those and to go ahead and put it into your discussion board post. Remember, if you're first one in here, you're gonna have to create the thread for your team and then the rest of your team, when they respond and put up their own graphs, they're going to do it in a reply, a lot like what I've done right here. So hopefully when you're done, your entire team will have one discussion thread for your team. You'll have a first post with a graph in it, and then everyone else will reply to that post on your team and go ahead and put their graphs in. When you've gone ahead and done that, you've completed part one of this technology assignment. In part two, we're going to be working on finding the break-even points, which are the points of intersection of these two graphs.